Hello, welcome to our channel Key of Education Zone. Here, if you are not yet subscribe our channel, subscribe our channel and press the bell icon and also like and share this video. Let's Hello friends, let's come to discuss the left matter of stack in data structure. Now before starting that, I want to tell you it's another lecture there that discuss what is stack and what are these different functions is full, is empty and peak. Now today we will discuss the algorithm of this five our functions. Now before starting that I want to tell you there is another lecture related to function but till a brief idea we should give. Function means it's a zone or it's an area where from any work is processed. There are several user defined functions. Today we will discuss this. These are the function which are used for any stack operation. What is stack? That is already discussed in our previous lecture. Now this is the stack where we get that five function is available that is is full, is empty, these are. What's that? Now is full is the condition where our function will be that means our stack is full. So that condition is known as is full condition. Now how can I discuss this? I am writing here the functions in pseudo code manner. What is the difference between pseudo code or stylish English or other manner that you can able to get from any other lecture. Now today we will discuss the pseudo code manner and obviously we will discuss how can we run it. Now let us start. Is full. Is full means what? Where our stack is. Say this is our stack. Now this is totally full. That means there if somebody asking to enter any data it will be not possible. So this is the condition for is full. Now how can I write down this is full conditions algorithm? Here we have to decide, we have to uh, write down a function. So what will be that? Now at first we have to start a function. How can we start? I am writing here begin procedure. Begin procedure means a procedure I am beginning where it is. It is named as is full. Okay. Now here what I have to check. Where it is is full condition. That means when it will reach at the maximum size. So if I am taking one variable. I already told you a top is a variable. It will increment one by one value. And it will take the all the values. How it is discussed. So please follow that lecture then you follow this one that it will be better to understand. Now say top is the value where it will be minus 1 in the beginning and it will increment 1 then the array will be increase one size and there we will put the value. In this way when it will reach at the maximum size there we can say that we are reaching as the topmost value or the max size there our stack is full. So I have to check if top equal to max size then then what we have to do? We have to do this return true. That means our stack is full else if it is not then I have to return 
false and obviously if I start this if then I have to end the if next obviously end the procedure because I begin it also so this is the is full condition I think you can able to get what is is full condition now I have to write is empty so when our top value will be the minimum size then we can say this is is empty that means it will be lesser than zero that means it will be at the position of minus one or if you increment the value from the one to then it will be zero at position that means in the beginning position if it is then we can say it is is empty so where their value how can i write down this algorithm begin procedure is empty if top equal lesser than not equal to less than 1 I am writing is less than 1 Be, uh, you can write down in our convention we are writing it minus 1 you can write down it is from 0 so both way it is possible so I am writing here minus uh, not minus 1 or 0 I am writing in general lesser than 1 ok if you are starting from 0 th that is at a 0 position also you can count then you have to take it is as minus lesser than 0 that means minus 1 position if you are counting starts from 1 then you have to write 1 got it so that you have to write now if it is then then return true else return false and if end procedure end if and end procedure so this is our this one so what is is full and is empty i think it is right now clear you can write down this algorithm pause the video and you can write down now there is another function that is peak what is this peak this peak means where our top value return the value that means there is no insertion no deletion where the top value is there that value only show you that means you can able to get the data from there only so what that that we have to write the algorithm begin procedure pick return because I don't have to check anything maybe is full maybe is empty just where the top is there that value you want to show so return stack of I am taking the name of the array stack of top end procedure so is full is the condition how can I check this algorithm is written is empty it is already written and is pick is also written so this three function right now clear to you I think if you have any doubt or confusion please command us as usual now after that if you have to check the push and pop operation what is the push operation push means there you can able to get where 
all the data will be inserted. So for that what do you have to check? When you try to insert one by one data, then one thing you have to check whether your stack is full. If it is full, you cannot able to insert more. So at first what do we have to write down here? Begin procedure. Push. Here I have to pass some argument also. This arguments are stack and data. Stack and data. Now if the stack is full, if the stack is full, though I don't have to write if stack is full, then what do we have to do? We cannot able to insert any more data. Then I have to return null. So nothing is possible. Else. That is the part. Else. Else what I have to do? Else the top value will be in increment value 1. So top equal to top plus 1. That means now the I again write the stack of top that means this is the position right now the array here you have to insert the data okay now after that you can write down this way also there the data will be comes and if and procedure so what you have to check for push whether it is full then we don't have to be able to insert so we will return null else the value will be increment one stop the stack position that means stack of this this array position is right now vacant there the data will be inserted end of ape and end of procedure so this is the push operation this is the push operation Clear? Next, the last one that is pop operation. Pop means there we want to take the data. How can we do that? The pop operation. For pop operation, what we have to do? For pop operation, this pop operation, there at first we have to check whether the stack is empty. You want to remove one by one data. Now if it is the stack is empty, fully empty, then you cannot. So if here I am checking if the full, there I have to check whether it is empty. Got it? And now we don't have to insert any data. I just have to remove. So here from you can write down the pop. Write down pop. They have to pass the stack. That means the array value only. Now if this. Here I have to check. If the stack is empty. Then I have to return null. I don't have to push anything. End if. End if what do we have to do? At first I have to take the data. So data. Here data will be stack of top stack of top so that data will be removed and after that it will decrease one value of the top value now the top equal to top minus one okay and here one thing more I have to do that is you have to return the data because you are removing so it will remove the data then end if and end procedure. So this is our pop operation. Pop means one by one removal. Push means insertion. Pop means removal. And is full is empty. Pick is full is checking full. Empty is empty. And pick will check the top stack top value. So these are the our 
stack operation in data structure. I think if you follow our previous value, uh, previous lectures also that uh, link will be shared here and along with that this one so it will clear you totally the stack. So it is our another lecture of key, uh, key of education zone. You know our channel name and if you are not yet subscribed then subscribe it right now because maybe today or tomorrow you will get another lecture related to Q and other part of the data structure. Thank you for listening this video.